Pegasus project. As of now, we all know that the more than 50,000 numbers and other data has been leaked. And that includes the data of business executives, human rights activists, journalists, politicians, and government officials of all across the world. You see Pegasus spyware get installed through phishing attacks techniques such as spam SMS, spam WhatsApp messages, and iMessages as well. And once it gets the access to your phone, it can harvest the photos, videos, WhatsApp chats, call history, call conversations. It can even activate the camera, get the GPS data, and many more. But the million dollar question is, are you impacted by the Pegasus power? Hello everyone, my name is Rasneesh Gupta, cybersecurity author and practitioner. In this video, we'll try to determine if we have been impacted by the Pegasus spyware. Let's talk about what all tools you require. First thing is you need to have Linux OS, that's Linux operating system. You can go with any one of them. You can even have Ubuntu or Kali machine. And of course you need a USB cable with you. Next thing you need to have, you need to install ADB. ADB is a package called Android Debug Bridge. And at the end, you of course need a tool which would be useful to determine if, you, if your mobile phone has been compromised in the past or if it's still in the compromised state. And that's MVT, Mobile Verification Toolkit. All right, so let's get started with the methods and procedure. Let's start with the procedure. First thing that you have to do is you have to connect your phone to your Linux operating system and you have to enable the USB debugging on your phone. Next, you have to install ADB by using sudo apt install ADB. Next, we need to install pip. That's the package, uh, package manager for Python. We need it because MVT is a Python based platform and in order to install all its supporting packages, we need the Python package manager. So you can install it by sudo apt install pip. Now finally, you can install the MVT tool by pip install MVT. Now you can check if your device or uh, I mean your Android phone is properly connected to the Linux OS. In our case, that's a Kali machine and also can verify if it's supporting the ADB properly by making use of ADB devices. Now you might see a uh, status to be unauthorized sometime. In that case, you have to go back to your mobile phone, Android phone, and that's where you have to allow the fingerprint if you are getting the notification. Now, once it has been installed properly, you can finally scan your mobile phone for any suspicious URL or malicious link or any kind of a spyware as well. All right, so this was all about detecting the spyware on your mobile phone. If you enjoyed watching this video, you can leave a like. You can also follow me on Twitter for more cybersecurity content. Bye for now.